Hey Tubies, thank you for joining me today as we delve into a recent development in Singapore's political landscape. In a recent turn of events, opposition politician Kenneth Gieretnam has been served a third correction direction, under the Protection from Online Fossils and Manipulation Act. This action was taken by the Ministry of Law in response to Mr. Gieretnam's social media posts made on August 18. These posts contain statements that have since been clarified and corrected by the ministry. Let's break down the key points that were addressed in the correction direction. Mr. Gieretnam claimed that the arrest of 10 foreign nationals for forgery and money laundering offences on August 15 was a result of foreign pressure, particularly from China and its foreign minister Wang Yi. However, the Ministry of Law clarified that the Singaporean police had identified the suspects through intelligence probes and extensive investigations. The operation had been in planning for several months and was not influenced by any foreign party. No foreign entities were informed of the cases prior to the arrests. In another statement, Mr. Gieretnam suggested that the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau, CPIB, probe into Minister for Transport S. Iswaran and businessman Ong Bing Seng was prompted by foreign pressure. The ministry countered this by asserting that the investigation was triggered by a separate matter entirely. The CPIB had come across information concerning Minister Iswaran during an ongoing investigation, prompting them to look into the matter. Therefore, the probe was not influenced by any foreign pressure. Mr. Gieretnam also claimed that the rental rates of certain ministers' properties were locked in for nine years. However, the ministry clarified that these rental rates were, in fact, renewable every two to three years based on the prevailing market value. Professional valuers were involved in re-evaluating the rates during each renewal to ensure they were aligned with market conditions. It's important to note that this is the third Professor Ma correction direction that Mr. Gieretnam has received. The prior two directions were also related to his statements about the rental and tenancy details of specific properties. This series of correction directions reflects the government's commitment to address misinformation and ensure accurate information is available to the public. Now, I'd like to hear from you, our valued viewers. What are your thoughts on Professor Ma and its role in correcting misinformation? Do you believe it strikes the right balance between safeguarding accurate information and protecting freedom of speech? Please share your opinions in the comments section below. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to stay updated on more news and developments. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to engaging with your comments.